Welcome back. If you're wondering why I'm standing in a field, we have gone back to our roots. This is where the Corvette came from. As you can see behind me, beautiful, beautiful farmland. Uh, the car was found here. It sat here for who knows how long, but now we're back. And why do you ask? Well, and that is because we have a new car. This is a 2004 Chevy Tahoe in beautiful, mint condition it looks like it's only been here for maybe a few months and it does have some flat tires but that's not what we're here for came from the same place as the corvette so just you know in in good fashion we need to get another car from here to continue the build thank you very much sar sound and performance this is going to its inevitable death so we are going to save some of it and resurrect it and potentially put it in the Corvette. <laughs> there we go. Holy jeez. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a 5.3 Vortec LS uh, as seen on the Cal right there, it's a 5.7. Uh, and as in good fashion uh, or unusual fashion, uh, it looks exactly like the Corvette did when we bought it. <laughs> uh, it looks like a mess. I don't see many chewed wires and stuff, so you might be okay. Uh, I do see there's a nice green battery. Uh, I did pull this up and that, that does look uh, a little nasty. Uh, he says it runs. Oh, no alternator. Uh, so we're gonna find out. And well, it's cold. We're uh, January 7th, I uh, 6th, January 6th. And uh, not a lot of snow, but it is cold and windy. Ah, oh, it's the ground. It's the ground. So I know everyone appreciates my commentary because I don't really know what's going on. Um, so I tell it how it is. They tried to start it, as you just saw, with hold on, this thing. Jump box. Didn't work. So Jay's going to go get the truck to boost it because he thinks that the battery's too dead. And Craig has come with a go bottle go. of happy. Google juice. You know what he's either? Do you want to start it? I'll start it. I'm going to step back. Oh, he said that rock is closed. Oh. Like without a plane. Well, that, that, that is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Never.
look like it's in rough shape or is it just like the Corvette and needs a little love and personal touch and it'll be amazing but uh exciting things are gonna be happening this winter even though there's no snow yet it is January it's bloody cold uh, we're gonna get snow tomorrow so I think the plan is to hopefully get this pulled inside tomorrow so um, they can pull the motor out we'll do a lot of video of that until then I'm gonna go back inside because beyond showing you guys this there's really nothing I can do see you soon well it's the next day and we're gonna pull this motor out uh, but the weather has changed slightly uh, we got a little bit of snow just a just a little bit uh, so we're trying to yank this out and bring it inside. So as you've seen, we've got a, we went through a little bit of a sawzalling. Uh, it seems to be the only tool to take out these uh, LS engines, sawzall. And uh, it looks like it's only got 100,000 kilometers on it. We, we don't even know, but it might change on the What's that, the kilometers? <laughs> no, no. no, there's only half a million. <laughs> half a million. No. Just interrupted my segment, that's okay. <laughs> Oh no, the block's rusty. What am I gonna do? Shit. Look at this oil, oil filter. It was just changed, I swear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you guys need a, need a good frame, you just give CAL Repair a call. Fresh. Wow. Fresh. Huh? Wow. <laughs> what do you mean, wow? Wow. So you have to twist it a bit so I can find it. Find it. Go. 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 Hmm. That really feels like stripping, but try it. Oh. <laughs> One more go. Oh! Fire the hole! 
It is the next day. And how quickly things can change. In Canada, there's now lots of snow. But also, what I imagine he's shown you is... Engine! Hey? It's an engine. It's, uh, it's an engine. It looks very clean. Well, we'll see. I'm bringing the light, but it looks covered in stuff. It looks covered in stuff? It was covered in oh. stuff. So many engines, so much power in here. I just rehearsed that and it sounded good, so I thought I'd tell you guys. Okay, we're back. We got the engine stripped-ish. It's uh, got stripped of its accessories, uh, the LS. Uh, so, opinion time. I want you to have a look at this. Uh, fresh LT, okay? Instead of a 94, 95 com uh, Corvette. And this, is also an option. So this came with the six speed. There's a six speed uh, T56 over here at the other side. We've got this here, so you can see, wow. With the fancy red clutch, so you know it's real nice. And so we need to decide what we're gonna do. What engine are we gonna use? We're not gonna use the one that's inside the car anymore. We're gonna sell it or something, recoup some cost. What do we do? Do we LS or do we LT? This transmission goes with the LT. It needs some modification to go with the LS. Should we go through that trouble? Or should we just slap the LT in and give her a whip and just go? 
because we could rebuild this and maybe sell it, whatever, or keep it for the next project. Or maybe we could LS swap Emily's Hyundai. Either way, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think below. I know it's, uh, you know, just common. Everybody swaps engines, but we're hoping to do something a little different with this eventually and make it a little custom. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, on the next video, we will decide which one. Strip it completely, send it to the machine shop, both. So either one is going to get refreshed, honed, parts, whatever, because we have a special something that is going on the engine. I'll let Emily show you. We have something the size of Emily's head. <laughs> Can you tell us what it is? Turbo! Oh. <laughs> what did you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a butt end. Oh, is that the... oh, they both have fans. There's two fans, yeah. A turbo! Turbo! <laughs> Thank you, Emily. So that should be fun. What do you think about that? Which leads us to another sponsor uh, who gave us an amazing deal on this turbo. Uh, TPC, Turbo Parts Canada, hooked us up with the 76, 75 or 76 mil precision turbo. Freshly rebuilt, brand new. And he says, this is exactly what we need to make some fireballs. So that's what we're gonna do. We're making fireballs. But yeah. I need to know which one should we hook this up to. Let me know in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.